Hello and welcome to episode 9 of the Cinema 4D Basics Tutorials. In this thrilling episode we'll be covering the Shadow Catcher, which is also the Reflection Catcher, which was introduced to Cinema 4D in OR18. So um, let's just jump straight in because this won't take too long. Um, first things first, we have our scene. Um, I'll just left this one blank. Uh, go create new material, uh, sorry, create materials and obviously this is cutting off here so I'm just going to tear this off and we'll have a shadow catcher material here. So next thing we want to do is create a, a floor. So we'll just use the default Cinema 4D floor. You can use a disc or a plane but for the purposes of this experiment uh, we're just going to stick with the floor. Um, we'll just add a cube there to give that some reflection or to, to reflect an object in the floor. And we'll just double click this and then we can enable the reflection catcher as well. We'll, we'll catch shadows and reflections for this just to cover them both. So we'll drag that onto the floor. And if we hit uh, option or we can see our preview render. Uh, it lets us uh, see the reflection here. I'm um, just going to uncheck it. Oh, global illumination's off. I don't really want that right now um, because it would kind of interfere with the lesson. So uh, basically this is what we've got now. Um, so we've set up our floor with the reflections and the shadows. The next thing we want to do is make sure that when you export this or just save the render as a PSD, um, Photoshop can read it and read the data you want it to read. So um, if we just go select PSD here, you can go to make sure alpha channel is checked and that will then give you your transparency layer because that's what an alpha channel is, it's a transparency layer. Um, so We'll just go back here and we will hit our... Well, we're not going to hit render yet because I haven't actually set the light up. So I'm just going to use a basic ordinary omnidirectional light and just move that uh, up there a bit so that we can um, cast some reflections. We need to go into our shadow tab on our light object, light shadow, and we can see shadow is set to none. So um, the shadow catcher doesn't really play nice with shadow maps. Um, I don't know why. Um, it's probably something to do with just how they're how they're kind of uh, not quite as physical as the other two. So um, I normally go for the area because the ray trace obviously here says hard, and it gives you quite hard edges on your shadows. And if that's what you want, then fine. If you've got like long sunlight to cast or something like that, that might be cool. But I go for area because it gives you a kind of a, a softening of the edges, which is, I think, more aesthetically pleasing in, in the majority of, of use cases that I would personally use. And so the next thing, um, we've cast our shadow area, etc. And so when we hit render, we won't obviously see the shadow because uh, it's it's a black object so if you want to see the shadow in the preview just create a new default material really quickly add it to your floor and then you'll see your your shadow there so we can set that up just how you like it um, just move it up a bit move it back a bit and we've got we've got a shadow there and we're also going to have reflections once I mean, then we're, when we've set the shadow up we can just delete the tag here go back to what it is and hit render and so here we have our a very rubbish looking scene, but we're not going for aesthetics for this experiment. Um, but you can't really see anything until you go into your layers. Um, you can go for your image, single pass, multi pass. Okay, cool. Sorry, that was a bit of a brain fart. Um, and so basically, uh, yeah, we, we, we know now if we look at single pass in the alpha channel, we can see we have generated here an alpha channel, which is kind of um, including our shadow and our reflection. So what we want to do is go to File, Save, Save as PSD out of the various options and hit OK. So just going to save that down as an untitled file and jump into Photoshop. Um, so let me just jump into Photoshop really quickly here for you. Uh, where is Photoshop? Uh, 2023, there we go. OK, so I'm just going to open this in Photoshop and we have here our scene. Let me just move my face out of the way. Oops, not that. There we go. Move you out of the way. And there we go. Cool. So we have our Photoshop file open here. Um, let's just uncheck this uh, padlock here on the background layer. And what that does is obviously allows you to access the, the alpha channel when you delete a part of it. You know, you see the transparency. And obviously... If you're sending this like a, a package, a, a, you know, a packaging image to a graphic designer for use in a brochure or something like that, you might want to include the shadows and reflections just for aesthetic sake. And so if we just hit our channels tab, you can see our alpha channel here, which has been done for us. If you open this, you'll create your, your, um, your quick mask. 
Um, and obviously, if you just uncheck the alpha channel, you will, you know, get rid of the visible quick mask. But the point of it is that you can, uh, if you just uh, command click on a Mac, it could be Control click on a PC. I don't really use PCs, uh, but you know, if you do, it's probably Control. Uh, let's hit that one. You can see we have then. Um, let's just get rid of you. Um, so, so if you if you want to just um, you can you can copy this out and you know copy it to a new layer. And and there you go. I mean, you don't have to do that. You can just you know um, you can just uh, command click your selection, um, inverse your selection, and delete it, and that'll give you the same result. Um, so yeah, there is your shadow and reflection captured, and um, I hope you f have found this tutorial useful. Um, if you have found it useful, I would always appreciate a like and a subscribe for my bur burgeoning or blossoming or whatever word you know. It's, uh, just to help me grow my channel and uh, reach more people, because I, I have ever so much fun helping people with, with software issues. Um, and this kind of is a good guide as well to refer back to. So, um, so yeah, let me know. Feel free to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, all the best and good luck with your creative journey.